ഹലോ ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ടു എ ന്യൂ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് ഗിഡ് ഹബ് കോ പൈലറ്റ് ഇൻ ടുഡേയ്സ് എപ്പിസോഡ് വി ആർ ലുക്കിംഗ് അറ്റ് ചാറ്റ് ഫീച്ചർ ഓഫ് എൻ ഇൻ്റലിജൻറ്റ് കോ പൈലറ്റ് ചാറ്റ് ഇസ് റിലീസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ജൂലൈ ഫോർ വിഷ്വൽ സ്റ്റുഡിയോ ആൻഡ് വിഷ്വൽ സ്റ്റുഡിയോ കോഡ് റൈറ്റ് നൗ ഓൺ എയ്ത്ത് ഓഫ് നവംബർ കോ പൈലറ്റ് ചാറ്റ് ഇസ് റിലീസ്ഡ് ഫോർ ഓൾ ജെറ്റ് ബ്രെയിൻസ് ഐഡിയസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ബീറ്റ ആൻഡ് അവൈലബിൾ for all the github enterprise customers who is owning the copilot for business you can connect with the github team to get it enabled for jet brains ids you can read these prerequisites under that the list of supported ids are available intellij and road studio and all these ids are supported by this private beta so let us see how copilot chat is working in jet brains IntelliJ ID. So I have IntelliJ here. For installation angle, Visual Studio Code, we have two different extensions. One for Copilot, one for the Copilot chat. But for IntelliJ, there is only one plugin. You need to install the plugin which is released after 8th November, which contains the Copilot as well as the Copilot chat. so the chat is available here as a chat interface and it support a kind set of slash commands if you look or compare with the visual studio code in code we have much more slash commands available here as part of the private beta we have set of slash commands are available these are the shortcuts for doing a frequent operations like a test generation and all so let us see start with the explanation so let me just select the code this is my java code and i need an explanation for this so i'm selecting explain and asking copilot chat to explain this code for me similar functionality exists in vs code so here it's going to give a set step by step explanation what exactly each of these blocks are doing Cool. It's able to give the complete details in terms of what the integer array or the parameters, defined parameters, each parameter what it's doing, each statement or block of statement what exactly the functionality and provided all the information. On top of that, this chat feature is providing a reference angle also. Which files are used to buy this chat conversation? As you can see here, one file is referred that is lambda test.java so i am able to understand that this copilot recommendations or the explanation is based on referring this single file only even though copilot can take the context from all the open files right now it's referred only this file that is what it's showing so let us move to the next slash command there is a command for simplify let me see how it going to simplify my code so it's supposed to understand the code and rewrite in a simple way so the simplified version of the code is came here and it's giving an explanation also what exactly it's done in the simplified version atomic boolean and for each is removed and use the contains method of the array list and it's used a conditional print out instead of going a if else statement a ternary operator is used for the printing angle so instead of this 10 lines or 20 lines of code you can achieve by this three lines and what kind of changes is done is also explained similarly in the for, uh, above case there is a reference provided it's referred only one file in this case so let me go for a simple case here there is a divide function and i need to create the test so i'm using the next one let me create a set of test cases for this one and it start adding the test cases and providing the detailed test names also if you look at the different test cases it's provided the details like divide two positive number and positive one negative and there is a 
Returning the same number because division by 1 and if there is a 0 that is dividing by 0 goes to illegal argument exception. So it's a handle the exception scenario as well. And if you notice here, it's referred to two files. One is the calculator.java and next it is the test file associated with this. So I have a test cases generated here for different other methods and it's associated with the calculated Java. So it's referred both the files for constructing this unit test cases. And what else is there as part of the thing? There is a doc command is there. Let us see how the Java doc is going to add for this particular, again going back to the initial method and asking for documentation. So it should add a Java doc on top of this method explaining each of the parameters and the return value and it's added the details in between also what Excel is doing the details. So if you notice here it's added the Java doc on top and each of the blocks got its own explanation what Excel is doing. If I feel it is good I can just click on here to replace the code. So it's a replace the existing code with a proper comment and explanations. If you feel it is good enough, you can go ahead and commit the changes. So this is the fixed kind, sorry, documentation angle. Now there is one more thing is slash fix. And feedback is providing the feedback back to the team. And we touch upon all other things. Fix is the one pending. So let me go ahead and modify some logical angle. For example, I just changed this to, even though the name is subtract, as a developer, I did a mistake of plus and some of the unit test cases failed. Now I need to fix the issue without even analyzing what exactly happened. So I'm asking Copilot's help. Let us see whether Copilot is able to fix it. Okay, so here it's able to identify the issue instead of addition, it should be subtraction plus is replaced by minus and also it's written the complete class. So you can replace the entire class by this code. Either you can take this one or just replace the existing method. Only that method gets replaced. The if you need the complete code needs to be replaced, you can take this aspect. So this is all built-in commands or built-in features available. And let me try out whether inline, uh, inline chat is available. So I press command I, it's not available, I think, or the shortcut is different. Now let me try to generate unit test case without using slash test. So we can give some kind of explanation also here, just like other chart, generate unit test for my code. So let us see whether it's taking only the slash commands or it's able to handle the communication angle also. Cool, it's able to create the unit test cases for my code adding a single number, multiple numbers, no numbers, and it's taken the references of calculated Java test and another test and the Lambda test. So let us go and see a little complex scenario where I have a to-do service available here and the implementation is available here. And I'm going to ask unit test for this one using mocking in my previous videos we explain this scenario where this interface is not implemented but uh, we are invoking that in interface here so we need a mocking service so let us see whether the chat is able to generate such complex test cases so generate unit test using mockito to mock to do service this is what i needed so let us see whether it's able to handle complex mock driven test case development also. A 
let's start adding the things at least the import angle it's able to get the mokito when and everything so it looks like it's able to achieve the angle and you can see here the mocking element so let me just add this into our to do service implementation so that we can read it properly so i just imported here so you can see here there is a to do retrieve service there is a mockito is used to mock this class and the mock to do's the list is defined when we are going to invoke this one return this mock to do's so it looks fine overall the test case generation looks fine so you can use the mock framework and everything for generating such complex test cases as well so this is all about um, copilot chat in this is the preview or private beta available in intellij you can explore the same functionalities across all the jet brains ideas go ahead and explore we'll see in the other next episode thank you